neural network. Sounds daunting, doesn't it? Imagine a machine trying to solve a tricky problem. How can I tell if this is a cat or a dog? A machine may not be able to do it alone, so it might call its thinking team, a group of little helper robots. Think of these helpers as standing in layers, like a stack of pancakes. The first layer is the lookers. The middle layers are the thinkers. And the last layer, the deciders. Each looker looks at one part of the picture. Ears, nose, whiskers, tail. Then they pass what they saw to the thinkers. This is where the magic happens. The thinkers work together to figure out if what they're seeing is a cat. They ask questions like, is it a furry animal? Does it have pointy ears? Does it have a long tail? Finally, the messages get to the deciders. These helpers give us the answer. Based on all the messages they received, one helper might say, yep, it's a cat. While another might say, I think it's a dog. And a third might say, maybe it's a rabbit. The group then picks the answer with the strongest vote and hopefully it's the cat one. All the helpers work together, sharing what they saw. This web of helpers is called a neural network. At the end, a machine gathers all its clues. Pointy ears plus whiskers equals cat. Floppy ears plus wagging tail equals dog. That's the magic of neural networks. One helper alone might get confused, but together, they can solve the puzzle. Here's the coolest part. These helpers learn from their mistakes. If our helpers look at a picture of a cat and says it's a dog, we tell it, oops, that's wrong. It's a cat. The helpers then train themselves so that next time, it's more likely to get the right answer. It's like they whisper to each other, next time we see pointy ears and a fluffy tail, let's give the cat answer a bigger vote. They adjust their connections so they can get it right the next time. The more examples we give them, the smarter the helpers get. So what do we mean by connections? It's like those tiny helper robots have little dials and switches inside them. When they get something wrong, a smart learning boss robot comes in and tells them, hey team, that wasn't quite right. Next time you see those pointy ears and that fluffy tail, let's turn up the cat dial a little bit and turn down the dog dial. So the next time they see a picture with those pointy ears and fluffy tail, those connections, those little dials and switches are already set a bit differently. They're adjusted. Now, when the messages pass through, the cat answer gets a stronger signal, a louder vote. And it's much more likely the final decider robot will say, yep, it's a cat. The more mistakes they fix, the better they get at setting those dials and switches just right. It's like practicing a game. The more you play, the better you get at knowing what moves to make. So remember, a neural network is like a team of tiny helpers. Each one does a small job, and together, they help a machine learn. Hungry for more? Check out our other videos on this channel.